Hi! Today I'm going to talk about the doshas and this is like the um, one of the most important principles of the Ayurvedic medicine system. Uh, the doshas as I explained um, in an earlier video are the, the energies and each person is made of a unique blend of these energies and the different energies are based on the different elements. So the main energies are Vata, Pitta and Kapha and they have a lot of different qualities. So the Vata is made out of the wind and ether um, element or the air and, and um, wind element. And um, if you think of something like that has a lot of air, like a balloon, um, the, that air has certain qualities. So the qualities that, some of the qualities that we have in Vata are that it's dry, rough, cold, and um, there are certain like physical characteristics like people that are Vata have curly dry hair, usually brown or black. They can be very tall or very short. They're usually very emotional, very creative. And Vata also has to do with movement. Because if you think of the air, it, it moves things. So fast, Vata moves things through the body. The other energy type is Pitta. And Pitters are, or the pitters, or the quality of pitter is hot, spreading, itchy. The physical characteristics that person could be um, could bald early. They could gray early. They're usually medium build. Usually a leader, very confident. And the other qualities are sharp, light, and sour. So what I'm doing, I'm kind of mixing a lot of different qualities. Just to give you an example, there are a ton of things on the vat or a ton of things on the pitter. And I've kind of described physical characteristics and also just the, um, the, the main characteristics of that dosha. So the kapha dosha, um, that is earth and water. And the characteristics of that are that it's oily, it's cold, it's wet, it's slow. It's heavy, it's sweet, and um, that manifests physically into someone that is um, slower, just slow, slower movement than the pitter or the vata. Vata people move very fast. Pitta people are very calculated. So when not in balance, coppers can have depression. Pitters can have, um, pitters can get angry if they're not balanced. And the Vata element, if you're mostly the Vata element, you tend to get anxiety. Going back to Kaffir, um, they're usually very family oriented. Not that the other doshas aren't, but um, the key to a Kaffir's happiness is, is usually home and family. So those are just different um, qualities, just a few examples. There are tons of other characteristics under each one. So what we do with the doshas is that we measure you know, measure the, the energy in each person. And each person is born with a unique blend. So we try to determine if you um, have mostly Vata characteristics or Pitta or Kapha, or you can have a combination. So you can be a Vata Pitta or Pitta Kapha. So they're actually more doshas than the main three. And there are also sub doshas, which that's kind of gets complicated. So um, usually, there's, you won't find too many people other than people that are talking to other professionals about some doshas. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of an understanding of the doshas. But one thing is to remember is that the doshas are everywhere. And what I mean by that is not just the physical characteristics, but the doshas um, are what we use to actually um, define other things. For example, each organ is a vata organ, a pitta or a kapha. Um, even things like um, uh, when you cry, depending where the tear comes out, that could be a vata, pitta or kapha um, tear. The, the different areas of the body have an affinity to certain doshas. So the vata dosha is usually um, connected with the colon. The pitter is usually likes the intestinal area, and the kapha usually likes the stomach area. So we believe that um, problems or health problems start 
in those areas and spread. So more about that later because it's going to get kind of complicated and I'll talk to you later. Oh, one last thing, one of the most important things that I didn't say is that usually with Parkinson's, um, in an Ayurvedic perspective, we consider that a Vata, sometimes a Vata Pitta problem. But usually, definitely, someone with Parkinson's, um, usually it has to do with the Vata dosha being way, 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 way out balance. Okay, bye.